So when I was very young, I was very fascinated to see so many things. I'll, I'll try to make sure, like to find out how does it work. I see the radio, I'll be like, how does this radio work? I'll see the car, how does the car work? So that curiosity of like trying to understand how things work, I think it's, it's one thing that also like helped me out. The name of the book is The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. This book addresses social issues, economic issues, political issues, environmental, sustainability, and engineering as well. And so this young man, when he was a boy, he, he purposely sought out to learn how to make his village better and to harness wind for energy because they didn't have energy. They had no electricity or water, running water, and things like that in his village. It was very impoverished. He took it upon himself to learn from the local small village library, um, the books that were on hand, and he built a windmill out of uh, from a junkyard. Probably one of the books that changed my life the most. Um, I'm not a huge reader. I actually kind of hate reading. Um, but something about this book really intrigued me, and I just kept reading and reading. Um, it is actually what inspired me for my eighth grade science fair project. Um, I made a windmill um, and was doing a scientific experiment on the blade angle, um, and all because of the um, windmill. Um, that he built. There are so many talented young people around the world, but sometimes they don't uh, come up with their ideas because of the situation that they are in. So I just wanted to share my story with the rest of the world. Maybe some other, uh, some other people might, get, um, might be inspired by my book and being able like, to do something that they can benefit their community or uh, themselves. So that's what really like, um, motivated me to let the book to share my story with the rest of the world. Sometimes people uh, fail to do stuff because of like afraid of being like failure. Uh, I think one thing that I say it's like a failure it's not the end of everything. If you fail something you next time you're gonna learn the better way of like doing it and then you're gonna achieve your, uh, your, achieve your goals.